Hey everybody, welcome to the Beach of Sea Turtle Patrol 2019 season kickoff presentation. The reason we do this online is because we have supporters from all across the country, from California on the West Coast to Connecticut out on the East Coast and many states in between, as you can see here on this map of the United States. We do have most of our supporters in Northeast Florida, but those other folks would not be able to attend if we did not have the meeting online. BSTP is an all-volunteer nonprofit corporation working for the preservation of endangered sea turtles in Atlantic, Neptune, and Jacksonville beaches, Duval County, Florida. We work under the direction of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Marine Turtle Program. All of the activities conducted by Beaches Sea Turtle Patrol are supervised by the holder of the Marine Turtle Permit and must be authorized by Fish and Wildlife. BSTP is the only FWC authorized turtle patrol in Atlantic Beach, Neptune Beach, and Jacksonville Beach. In 2018, we had 39 volunteers on our team, and that was from over 2,000 across the state of Florida. We have a couple of vehicles. Most of our team does foot patrol on the beach, and here's a picture of some of them at a training session. Our training consists of two phases. The first phase is a minimum of four sessions of basic field training held on the beach. It includes home study materials such as species identification, nesting crawl characteristics, and threats to adults and turtles and hatchlings, the FWC rules and protocols, and BSTP specific protocols. The second phase of training consists of a classroom, instruction, and advanced field work. Some of our volunteers progress on to become authorized on the marine turtle permit, and those require attendance at FWC workshops for nesting and stranding activities. In February or March, we will assess our needs for the upcoming season, and if we have available slots, we will post that online on our Facebook page or our website, and if we do have things available, we will open up the application at that time period. Our goal is to keep the sea turtle population from experiencing a downward trend which could be irreversible by reducing the disturbance and harassment of nesting sea turtles, by educating the public about the hazards of nighttime beach activities and beachfront lighting. Increasing the hatchling survival rate by educating the public about the dangers of lighting, human intervention, and pollution. And contributing data to the Sea Turtle Stranding and Salvage Network and Florida Fish and Wildlife. Most of our work consists of daily surveys that are conducted at daybreak. We look for new crawls, identify nests, monitor and re repair existing nests, and collect data as required by Fish and Wildlife. We also collect data for the University of Georgia's Northern Recovery Unit Loggerhead DNA Project. Nest perimeters are built with protective materials that may include screening for predator control, light barriers, and or webbing. We monitor each nest very thoroughly every morning throughout the incubation period for signs of disturbances. Once the hatchlings have left the nest, we conduct an evaluation to determine the hatch success rate for that particular nest. All of the data is reported to FWC and general results are provided to the donors who have adopted that nest. Each year we sponsor at least two annual beach cleanups, one on July 5th and the other on the second Saturday in September for the International Coastal Cleanup Day, which is sponsored by the Ocean Conservancy. Our cleanups partner with Keep Jacksonville Beautiful and the City of Jacksonville to provide bags and gloves for the participants and collect data for the reports. We have student groups, corporate teams, and individuals that all participate. Last year, this nice group from the UNF Ladies Basketball Team came out together to help clean up. They picked up things like this discarded 
beach canopy that you see there on the left. And the other beach hazards that we find on the beach are these deep pits left by people who are digging it for entertainment. These are very dangerous pits, not only for turtles, but for humans as well. So we do have a volunteer that leads a team of students to go out and have these filled in. This mother turtle, back in 2015, had just completed the nesting process and was returning to the ocean when she fell into this four foot deep pit and was not able to get out. If we had not found her, the turtle had been in the pit for several hours before we found her during our morning patrol and some of our volunteers along with Jacksonville Beach lifeguards were able to free her relatively unharmed. The video was picked up by a television and online program called Right This Minute, the viral video show, and we would like to play that for you now. This video starts with a group of people frantically digging at Jacksonville Beach in Florida and it's not clear to begin with what's going on, but here you guys might be able to figure it out. Is that a turtle? That is. It's a giant sea turtle. It's a, it's a nesting mother that fell into this pit that had been dug by humans on the beach. You know human beings, they do it, they'll just dig a big pit and all that sort of, they didn't mean anything by it, but this turtle fell in, got trapped, and these guys at Beach Sea Turtle Patrol, by the looks of it, found that everybody teamed up to help save this turtle. Oh, so these are professionals that came in to do the right thing, that they, they're doing everything the right way to ensure this turtle's safety. There we go. Hi, she she comes. There you go. And you can see they start pouring water over her head to make her feel oh. better, and they start creating a ramp in the sand so she'll be able to climb up because they can't lift her. These guys look like they're very strong and they still can't pick her up. Gives you an idea as to how big and heavy this turtle really is. Oh, she's trying to pull herself out on the beach. Everybody's sort of getting up behind, almost like you're trying to push a car to get it yeah. started. As they finally get her onto the beach, everybody's getting super happy. <laughs> and you'll love this one as well. You can see Mama making her way back into the ocean oh. just fine. Here she goes! Woo. You guys all did a great job! Great experience to see a sea turtle and to see one so huge, so up close, and to see people doing something kind. Good job. Well, that turtle was very lucky, but she very could, e could easily have perished in that hole had we not come along at the right time. Um, that was the incident that prompted our beach access signage project, which was completed um, just about this time last year. The signs were all fabricated and placed at all the beach accesses. We've gotten very positive feedback from the community. And again, we would like to thank the groups that made this possible, the American Association of Zookeepers, Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens, customsigns.com, and of course the cities of Atlantic, Neptune, and Jacksonville Beach for placing the signs for us. BSTP has an outreach team. In addition to our normal field work that we do all year long, we participate in many community outreach and educational events, and BSTP volunteers are available for school presentations and information exhibits at civic and corporate events. Our team facilitates dozens of outreach events throughout the year at schools and community gatherings like Dancing in the Street and Manatee Festival at Jacksonville Zoo and National Night Out, just to name a few. In 2018, we did over two dozen school presentations. BSTP has a light team that evaluates potential lighting issues around the nesting habitats. We provide a educational information to the beachfront residents. We coordinate with city officials to try to mitigate any problematic lighting and we, we report total disorientations to Fish and Wildlife. In 2018, we had 44 nests in Atlantic, Neptune, and Jacksonville Beach. 41 were loggerheads. We had one green and two leatherbacks. We were not able to inventory 
all of them, um, three were a status unknown, but of the 41 that we did inventory, we estimated a total of about 4,279 eggs and about 3,000, slightly over 3,000 of those had hatched. In 2018, we had 34 non-nesting emergences, which are called false crawls, and those were all from loggerhead turtles. The statewide stati statistics for 2018 were 91,451 loggerhead nests, 118,325 false crawls. The green nests were 4,545 in total with 7,036 false crawls. There were 949 leatherback nests and 213 false crawls. Among the rare, tur rare turtles that we don't get in this area, there were 10 confirmed Kemp's Ridley's and no confirmed hawksbills. All the data that we collect is very important because the results are used to evaluate and minimize the effects of human activities like coastal construction, beach renourishment and recreation on turtles and their nests and identify important areas for enhanced protection or land acquisition. It also helps determine appropriate response strategies during environmental disasters such as oil spills and weather disasters like hurricanes. Sea turtles are important because they've existed for more than 100 million years and they are a very important component to the health of our oceans and beaches. Their hatched egg shells, undeveloped eggs, and deceased hatchlings that don't make it out of the nest are good sources of nutrients for the vegetation which holds the dunes in place. Green sea turtles eat seagrass, which needs to stay short in order to be healthy. And the seagrass beds provide breeding and developmental grounds for fish and shellfish that we consume. Weatherbacks eat jellyfish, which helps, which helps the fish population. Kemp's Ridley's consume marine sponges, which can overtake the coral reefs if left. Ways that you can help are very simple. Keep the beach clean, dark, and flat. That makes for a good nesting habitat for all of our turtles. You may also wish to don donate and adopt a nest. Simply go to our website, complete the form. You can send in a check or you can pay online with a credit card or PayPal, where we now have a new text to donate option where you would simply test text BSTP to 707070 and it it will walk you through the donation process. What does it mean to adopt a nest? Well, a symbolic, symbolic nest adoption is in the name of your choice, and it's a really good way to show your support for sea turtle conservation, and it makes a great gift for the environmentalist in your life. You will receive a letter via postal mail with the location of the nest, a window decal for your car, a laminated sign on the nest, and a link to the hatch success results after the nest has emerged. Your donations are used to provide all train vehicles, our acquisition, gasoline, and maintenance. We buy nest supplies in the form of wood stakes, netting, staples, survey tape, anti-predation screens, light barriers, and so forth. There are administrative costs to running the patrol. We have mobile phone service, our domain name and website, business cards, corporation filing fees, and the like. We have office supplies in the way of paper, printer, ink, postage, laminating sheets, and so forth. And of course, our educational materials that we have at all of our exhibits, our art and exhibit boards, brochures, children activity books, and our volunteer support in the way of training materials and work shirts. If you'd like additional resources, you can visit our website, bstp.net, and go to the links page. We would also refer you to myfwc.com, which is the official site for Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. conserveturtles.org is the official site for the Sea Turtle Conservancy, and fws.gov for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. You could also help and show your support for the sea turtles 
by buying the sea turtle license plate for the state of Florida. For your vehicle, there have been there's more than 20, 120 specialty plates available, and the sea turtle plate has been consistently number two position for many years. Most recent count shows 81,823 plates. These have funded over $5 million in research grants since 2001 and contributes funds to the Marine Turtle Protection Program. You can read more about the Sea Turtle Grant Program at HelpingSeaTurtles.org. Lastly, we'd like to thank you for your support throughout the year and always. You can find us online, of course, at bstp.net. Our Facebook page is Beaches Sea Turtle Patrol. Instagram and YouTube, BSTP Jax, and LinkedIn at BSTP. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support.